Let me introduce you to one of my all-time favorite analog outboard EQs, the mighty Tegla Audio Dual Mono Passive EQ P1. When I mix with this, or any other outboard EQ for that matter, in my DAW as a real-time hardware insert, I can only really use it once, so either as a stereo mix bus EQ or twice across two mono tracks, as it is a dual mono device. Now I could of course get around this analog constraint if I were to print, so re-record the EQ sounds from the outboard down to fresh audio tracks in a session. But bouncing tracks in real time, track by track, takes time. And committing sounds this way doesn't always really keep my options open in a mix. Now if I want more channels of this EQ in a mix, I could of course go out and buy more of these beautiful sounding units. But my wife says that ain't gonna happen. Now, lucky for me, there's another way to recreate unlimited instances of this EQ, or any other outboard EQ for that matter, in a session with a plugin called Qclone. A powerful tool that bridges the gap between outboard EQs and DAWs. With Qclone, you can model the curves that make your favorite hardware EQs sound special across as many tracks as you need in real time. Let me show you how to set it up. But before we go any further, please do take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay up to date with all future tips, tricks and tutorials that will help elevate your mixing and production skills from Waves Audio. With Qclone, you get a companion plugin called QCapture, which communicates with your hardware EQ with constant sweep waves. For the most basic of setups, first insert QCapture on a blank auxiliary track in your session. Set the output of this aux to an available physical output on your audio interface. Physically patch that output from your interface to the input of your EQ. And finally, physically patch the output of that EQ to an available input on your audio interface and set the input on the Q capture aux to that same input. This completes the signal flow, which Q capture will confirm with both transmit and receive meters displaying matched levels. Next, insert Q clone as you would any other EQ plugin to get your hardware EQ curves shaping your multiple channels. In the plugin, Hit Capture when you want to dial in some EQ. With Capture selected, Qclone will constantly track the sound of your hardware EQ. The display in the middle depicts the EQ curves you're dialing in. When you have the sound that you want, hit Hold, which freezes your newly modeled curves in place. And it's really that simple to use. Now, you'll need to flatten or zero out your EQ when you move on to another instance of Qclone. Otherwise, Qclone will start with the color that you have dialed in previously. But what if you want to update the curve of an already Qcloned track? To make additional changes while maintaining your original curves, select Add, then dial in the extra boosts and cuts you need. Let's now EQ a couple of tracks using this hybrid workflow. Now, as clever as Qclone is, there are a couple of things it doesn't do. So don't expect it to reproduce any of your outboard's distortions, noise, or any other non-linear properties. It purely recreates curves. Now, show me another plugin that does what Qclone does, and I'm pretty confident you won't be able to find one. It's that much of a unicorn. For more information on Qclone, and to get the seven day free trial, do follow the link in the description below. But before we sign off, I've told you what my favorite analog EQ is. It's only fair that you share yours. So what outboard EQs do you have in your studio? And are you going to try Qclone with any of those? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Dan from Waves, and I'll see you again soon.